This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Tuesday, January the 29th, 2019. Today in 1845, the Evening Mirror in New York published a long rhyming poem entitled The Raven, and the name Edgar Allan Poe was seen in print for the first time. Poe was orphaned before his second birthday and clashed with his foster parents. His time at university was cut short for lack of funds, and so he joined the army and began to write seriously. He published short stories and poetry anonymously and under aliases until The Raven. He was instantly popular and was on track to publish his own literary journal, but he died unexpectedly and early at the age of 40. Poe is an essential figure in the literary school of Romanticism, even if his Gothic themes don't get you in that Valentine's Day mood. Today in 1936, the Baseball Hall of Fame inducted Ty Cobb, Walt Johnson, Christy Mathewson, Babe Ruth, and Honus Wagner as the first class of Cooperstown. Cobb played center field for the Detroit Tigers. Johnson and Mathewson were both pitchers, the former of the Washington Senators and the latter of the New York Giants. Babe Ruth, of course, was the Yankee slugger, and Wagner was that legendary shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates. All five men were inducted according to the Baseball Writers Association of America model, which is used alternately with the Veterans Committee model, and more recently, the Special Committee for the Negro Leagues model, which has focused on the incredible role played by African Americans in sport, which did more than we think to advance the cause of civil rights. Today is the birthday of American lawyer, Civil War veteran, and 25th President of the United States, William McKinley. Born in Niles, Ohio in 1843, McKinley spent the Civil War in Virginia, where he fought at Antietam and in the Shenandoah Valley. And after the war, he began studying law, but that whole college experience was just too easy for him. He finished all of his law studies in less than a year and was admitted to the Ohio Bar in 1867 at the ripe old age of 24. He rose through the ranks of local and state politics quickly and was elected governor of Ohio before his 50th birthday. And he only just had time to measure for drapes when he was elected president of the United States in 1896. McKinley led the nation to victory in the Spanish-American War. He raised protective tariffs to promote American industry, and he kept the nation on the gold standard in a rejection of expansionistic monetary policies popular at the time. His conservative policies were the cause of massive economic growth, and he seemed poised to be a worthy successor to his hero, Abraham Lincoln. But less than a year after defeating William Jennings Bryan for a second term in the White House, He was gunned down at a public meet and greet in New York. He became the third Republican president to be assassinated by anarchists in just over 30 years after Lincoln and Garfield. Finally, today is the feast of St. Aquilinus of Milan. Little is known of his life, and we have to be careful not to confuse him with two other martyrs named Aquilinus. This Aquilinus was a priest who functioned as a kind of traveling preacher. We know that he was in Paris during one of the many cholera outbreaks of the 11th century and that he cured several people there. He was also invited to become bishop in Cologne, but declined. We know that he was in Lombardy for a bit, preaching against Arian heretics, and we're fairly sure it was some angry members of that Arian sect who found him traveling through Milan and murdered him. He was found in the gutter, and his body was cleaned and buried in the Basilica of San Lorenzo, a scene of which is depicted in a beautiful fresco inside that basilica right there in Milan to this day. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.